This is Dark Sidious from Star Wars Vintage Collection Series 2 and uh, this look of Dark Sidious is from Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith uh, so I'll show you well I'll show you the figure first before I show you the packaging uh, he comes with this lightning bolt that uh, he can hold it with his hand uh, very nice his hood is made of plastic uh, and he wear a fur coat and down here his long skirt is made of real fabric so that's very nice and he comes with uh, his signature lightsaber and the red is not really translucent uh, kind of like uh, half translucent so dark see this so, so here's the packaging uh, very nice little bubble enough to uh, contain the figure so you don't, uh, well after you open him you won't have a lot of garbage um, Yes, that's a picture of Dark Sidious right there And there's a free uh, figure offer for the rocket firing bubble fat So let me show you the back And uh, yes, this is a uh, brand new figure So that's why on the back it says First issue vintage Dark Sidious car in 2010 and uh, other figures from Series 2 you might be interested in are the uh, Sand Trooper, General Grievous, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan, and the Clone Trooper. And uh, Obi-Wan is probably the uh, peg warmer of this wave because I doubt that this figure will be picking up a lot. You will probably see this figure a lot more often on shelf. And so let me go ahead and uh, uh, remove his hood so you guys can see what he looks like under there. And yes, yeah, a very scary face. And comparing to the, uh, well, I have this one, I have this figure for comparison. And uh, let me remove it. Well, this, I mean, these two of these two figures are very, very similar. I mean, because both of both of their hood are made of plastic, and some of the cloth on them are uh, real fabric. And as you can see, this one from episode three, and this one is from uh, episode six. You can see the difference in age there. Of course, this one look kind of younger. And this one is more aged and more fragile. And he had the, uh, well, everything black kind of outfit. And this one is a little bit uh, dark red. And this one comes with a cane. Well, each one comes with, uh, with, with an accessory that's really worth getting. Uh, this one doesn't come with a cane, but still nice because it comes with the uh, lightning bolt. And uh, yes, his uh, his hand grip is made to hold it. It's not like um, well, you attach it by making him hold it. So uh, yes, very nice. I think this is the nice the nicest accessory that Hasbro ever made. And if you have the uh, Samuel Jackson Mace Windu, well, pose him with this guy. They're gonna let, they're gonna look awesome. And. Uh, so that's the uh, face scarf, and if you want, oh well, let me uh, the lightsaber. Very nice lightsaber, and I think it is the same one that come with this one. I'm not sure because I don't have it right here. Well, I have to, I I have to check it. Uh, but still, the hand grip uh, for for the lightsaber. I mean, this one is the best hand grip I have ever seen because he hold the uh, he hold his, his lightsaber perfectly and it fit very tightly inside his hand so that's very nice and uh, his coat you can remove that one as well uh, you know what I'm not gonna remove it <laughs> because I did it one but uh, it, ta it actually takes more time to put it back on than to take it off so I'm not gonna do that and uh, yeah, his, uh, his uh, skirt is very nice and inside you can see uh, all the joints and you can see his legs. 
uh, and uh, for articulation there's a ball joint in the head and uh, there's a well his uh, his shoulder can move up and down can move uh, forward and back uh, there's a swivel and hinge elbow swivel in the uh, in the forearm not the wrist it's like inside uh, he has a swivel in the waist, no ball joint in the torso. A uh, swivel in the hip can move forward and back. It doesn't go in and out. Uh, the uh, knee, yes, uh, there's a swivel and hinge knee, swivel and hinge uh, ankle. So he has the standard Star Wars uh, articulation. So very nice. So just like I say, I, I mean, beside the lightning bolt, I mean his hand grip and the way he holds his lightsaber is probably the best thing about this figure. And, and you can put that. I mean because I mean because of the material that they, I mean because the because of the his fur coat. His hood doesn't want to stay down. I mean, the coat always tend to push the uh, the hood up, so that's kind of annoying. So that's his lightning bow. And there you go. I mean, certainly if you have the uh, if you have the movie Mace Windu, you you should definitely. You should definitely pose those two together, reenact that scene. Uh, so overall, this is an awesome figure. Even if you had the episode six, uh, Emperor Palpatine, uh, you still gotta get this figure. He's awesome. Come with the uh, lightsaber and the lightning bolt. Uh, you can find this figure at Target, Walmart, or Toys R Us for about. The price is about eight dollars to ten dollars. So, but still, very nice figure. You so you might want to pick it up. Right? You might want to check it out if you're a Star Wars fan. You're gonna love Dark Sidious. Uh, a must have figure. I highly recommend it. So yes, a good figure if you want to reenact the scene from Star Wars. And thanks for watching.